Hi guys, Superman GTI here um, with a requested video from uh, a few of the streamers. So wanted to bring it through to your attention that the Scuf Impact Pro. Um, the one of the questions we've been asked is about the jack for the um, the size of it and what obviously it supports and all the rest of it. So um, I wanted to show you what I use for that. And as you can see here, we've got the USB connections that I'm using for the headphones. I'm gonna go through that in a second. So the scuff controller is what it is. I always play with it wired. I just like it to have no lag at all. There's not, there's hardly any, you would never notice it. And obviously um, it's fine to play with it wireless. I just prefer it to run that way. Now, obviously compared to the standard controller, there's obviously huge differences with the back buttons not being present and whatnot. Um, but the key thing to know here is with my little box of tricks over here, you know, I've got tons and tons of um, different thumbsticks, um, different height thumbsticks and all the rest of it. But the key thing to note is if you are planning on using Control Freaks with um, a Scuff Impact Pro, you need to be aware of this issue, right? Now, the concaved or the domed thumbsticks will not support control freaks. It just won't happen. They'll sit on, you'll get into a bit of battle and they will fire off. I've had it happen, trust me from experience, I know. Now the standard ones here with the standard controller, I just use some, some nice grippy thumbsticks on the top, but as you can see, they are that way. Now you can buy these PS4 ones from Scuff for really cheap. They're like 4.99 or something, I can't remember. Don't quote me on it. But these are the um, standard PS4 ones, but for the scuff controller, they actually feel a little bit more grippy than the standard PS4 ones, so take note of that. Now what you do is, you know how simple it is to change these on the scuff. You just use the scuff key, undo, pop that on, and then of course you use the control freaks, or in my, uh, for example here with me, I don't have any left now. We've given them away on the competitions and whatnot, so I do need to get some more. We just clip this on this is just an aftermarket one here that i'm using and um as you can see it slips on absolutely fine and then that there then is giving you that extra height and whatnot to play around with and they will never fire off they will never fire off on these ones on these ones they will so take note with that now moving on to my um headphones now Actually, before I clear this up, most of mine are, are domed. The concaved ones I prefer on my right thumbstick for looking around, just find that you get a better grip and whatnot. So um, just take note, if you are gonna run these, make sure you do have the scuff PS4 standard ones to go on the scuff controller. So moving on to my headphones, they've had a bit of wear and tear, but they're still a good headphone the uh, Turtle Beach Elite Pro, as you can see there with the noise cancelling mic. Um, super cool, they come hardwired in. Um, they've took a beat, you know, I'd probably get a new pair for my birthday and whatnot. But it does come with a massive, massive cable and it is plugged in via this USB amplifier, which you can set up with um, optical audio if you want to. But I find I don't really need it, I just plug it in you can hear the PlayStation there, clicking, registering that it's been plugged in and whatnot. That's what I like to use. I've stopped using the Turtle Beach TAC amp and I've run that setup. Now, if you want to run the Scuff Impact with a standard jack, it's this simple. This is the other wire that supports my um, Turtle Beach Elite Pros. You simply push that in like so. And it's as simple as literally pulling this one out. So you've got your three little dots on the side there. You pull that out. That disconnects from the USB one. And then we simply click that one in there like so. So all we do then, I just want to show you that that is plugged in now to the scuff controller. And that is how you can run it. Literally like that into the controller and the sound is as good as, if not, I'm not gonna say better, but it is definitely as good as me using the um, USB version of it. And all it is basically is that 
the um, it just frees up the wire. There's really no difference in sound and quality off of this than there is this. You may just get a little bit of white noise in the like where it's quiet and whatnot, but you you it's never going to be noticeable. So say you just literally take that out, take it out of the headphone, and that is that. So the Scuff Impact Pro is just a uh, 2.5 millimeter jack and it clicks in as easy as that. It's really no different than the standard PS4 controller, which you can see here. It's just um, the scuff ones, they tend to have a little bit more support because they've made this little sort of groove concave for the uh, for the jack to go into. And I say it sits quite snug in there and it doesn't move about. And that's the same with the charging dock there. It actually clicks in and is supported and held. Whereas on the standard PS4s, you can see that they are not supported in any way. So that's another plus for the scuff controller. So just be aware if you are thinking of getting a scuff impact pro, um, do order the standard PS4 controller thumbsticks, pop them off. They look exactly the same, but they're a bit more grippier than the, the standard ones. Clip those on, the control freaks stick right on the top of them. You won't have any issues at all with them coming off. But if you run the setup that I'm currently running with the domed variants, they will fire off the control freaks. There's just not enough. It's domed, they don't sit flush, and obviously that causes them to pop off. So guys, I hope this has cleared up any more um, concerns you have before getting a Scuff Impact Pro. If you want me to do any more videos, or if there's any questions you need answering, feel free to comment below and I will get back to all of you and um, we can talk about anything you need to clear up and whatnot and then that saves you having to fork out 270 pound for a controller that you don't, you, you know, you might be taking a risk on. So this was requested by, I think it was Abdullah, so um, shout out to him. Um, he wanted me to clear up the scuff impact jack and the uh, control freaks on the top so i hope that's cleared it up for you mate and um yeah superman gti catch you on the next one peace